Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace a radiator for Acura Integra LS. I hope you'll find this helpful. Thank you. Enjoy. Under the car, there are still two 10 millimeter bolts for the radiator fan. One over here, one over there. But we need to drain the radiator coolant. The plug is over here. You have to turn counterclockwise. And a small bucket is good, but make sure it's wide enough to catch uh, all the coolant from the radiator. It comes out this one here is not big enough so as you can see okay so while watching the coolant drain we could take out the 10 millimeter to 10 millimeter bolt or we could just take out the hose clamp and the whole thing can be pulled out there's a connector on top right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unplug this so that way I could pull out the whole thing much easier if I could take it out right now Okay, so it's easier if it's two hands. <laughs> Push this. Pull out. Same way with this one. Yeah, push this down. Pull out. Now we're gonna go back to the bottom. Take out the hose clamp. See, this is the hose clamp right here. I know it's a lot easier to remove the clamp from the engine, but since uh, my silicon hose didn't come in in time, I will do it on a different video just to replace the hose. Clamp. So, because the hose is stuck, let's just clamp it and we go. Okay, I was able to put it on. A few modifications here and there, but it works. So I'm just gonna tie that 
Get a hose clamp. Put the hose back here. Refill it with coolant. Attach the connectors. Fan switch. That should do it. it like so but before you do that make sure you let it burp let the all the bubbles out and check for leaks I'll help you learn something here <laughs> 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 